Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Binance Smart Chain wallet. We're going to show you how to create a Binance Smart Chain wallet and how to get a BEP20 address. Now BEP20 address is very important if you want to interact on the Binance Smart Chain. Now I'm going to show you today how to do this using something called the Binance Smart Chain wallet extension. This is one of the easiest ways to be able to get a BEP20 address, but there's another very important factor with having this Binance wallet extension. And that is in the US particularly, it is the easiest way well, let me back up. It's important to understand that Binance token, the BNB token, exists on two blockchains. There's the legacy token, which was originally created on the BNB blockchain by Binance themselves. That's the native token, the original token. That token exploded in price when it ported over to the Binance smart chain. The Binance smart chain is essentially a fork of Ethereum, and the BNB that exists on the Binance smart chain trades at the exact same price as the BNB on the legacy chain. However, it is a different token, literally. You cannot just take BNB tokens on the legacy chain and somehow send them to a smart chain wallet. In most cases, that does not work. But if you have the Binance smart chain wallet extension, I'm gonna show you that today, you absolutely can do that and I'll even demonstrate it in this video. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, bear with me. I'm gonna show you how to set up your Binance Smart Chain wallet. I'm gonna show you how to give your BEP20 address and then I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So first things first, what you wanna do is you wanna uh, go to Google. Once you're at Google, just type in Binance Smart Chain extension, works. Binance Smart Chain wallet on Chrome. This is what it looks like. Perfect, add extension. The extension has been added. Now what you wanna do is come over here and you wanna make sure you pin it. Once you have the extension pinned, this is what it looks like. Now you wanna use an existing wallet. If you already have a, a BEP20 address, you can just import it. I have one, but I'm going to show you today how to create a new one. So I'm going to walk you through this entire process. You click create wallet. I would not, I would not necessarily do this. Generate seed phrase. Enter a strong password. I'm going to make up a password here. I've entered the password. It has to be eight, more, eight or more characters, at least one uppercase character, at least one digit, at least one symbol. Once you do that, you want to write it down. You don't want to forget it. And then click continue. This is going to give you this backup seed phrase. This is a dummy wallet. I'm never going to actually use this wallet, but you want to make certain that you have this. You do not want to copy this and save this in a notepad. They should not even say click to copy, to be honest with you. Uh, it's very dangerous. Don't put it in an email. Don't put it anywhere. If you are not careful where you save it, if, if you're not careful where you save this and someone gets access to this, they can get access to your wallet. So you want to make certain that you write this down. I would even include one beside it, two, three, four, five, six, I would include the numbers. And the reason I would include the numbers is because sometimes if you ever have to enter in your seed phrase on some of these wallets, it's not clear which number they won't second. So if you, if you didn't know any better and you were typing this in, you could type, you know, book, glass is number two, design is number three, and it would tell you that you had your seed phrase wrong. Even though you had the right words, you just would have them in the wrong order. So be very, very careful for that. So write this down keep it somewhere extremely safe. If you lose this, you are going to lose access to your wallet. There's nobody that can get access for you. So do not lose this. Once you enter in your the three seed, once you confirm the seed phrase, you have access to your account. Now, I think there's another step that you should do here. You should click right here. Export private key. Put in your password. Again, this private key doesn't matter. I'm not actually going to use this wallet at all. I'm going to import my own wallet. This would be your private key. You want to put this on top of the seed phrase, not just the seed phrase. You want to enter this in. Type it correctly. Make certain that you have it right. Once you have everything in place, before you ever use this wallet, I'm going to take you to a next step. Security is important. Once you have this, do not save this in your email address. Do not save this in your computer. Do not save this as a notepad. You're going to give someone access to your funds. You cannot retrieve it. Put it somewhere where it's going to be safe. It's not going to be stolen and you're not going to lose it. Preferably handwrite it, double check it, check it twice. Before you ever use this wallet, what I recommend that you do is I would delete the whole thing. I would come over here. 
I would remove from CryptoTab browser or whatever browser you use. I would read at it. This is before you ever use it. You want to make certain that you have this private key properly. And then you can come here, repin it. Come here, use existing wallet. Import seed phrase. Now you can put in the seed phrase, the 12 words that you wrote down. You can enter in right here. You can make a new password if you want. It does not have to be the same password, but you click import once you do that and you'll actually have your wallet back. In fact, I'll do it. Let me pause the video. I'll do it real quick. By the way, I want to point this out. Typically 12 words, sometimes 20 separated by a single space. So we have a 12 word phrase, but they don't tell you where to put number one, where to put number two. So if you didn't write that down properly, you can get your seed phrase out of order. It has to be in the exact same order. That's why I said I would take note of each word and where that word is located. So you just put in the first word. I think in this wallet is width. Then you have a second word. You type that in. You just keep going until you get all 12 words. Then you recreate your password. So I'll do that now. All right, so after I entered in each one of the uh, 12 words, I got back to the wallet. This is important, keep in mind. You, you can lose access to your computer. You can lose access to your wallet. As long as you can download a new wallet and you have your recovery phrase, you will, seed phrase, you will always be able to get back to your wallet. That's important for you to understand and you will always be able to, to pull up your balance if you have a balance on there. The Binance Smart Chain wallet is very interesting. This is one of the only wallets that does this. So it's Binance Smart Chain Network and the legacy BNB &B Network. Two totally different addresses. This is the Binance Network, notice the address, BNB, and then notice the Binance Smart Chain, OX. Every, the Binance Smart Chain address begins with OX. So if you wanna send Binance Smart Chain or BNB tokens here, then if they're on the legacy network, you wanna send it right here. If they're on the Binance Smart Chain, you wanna uh, use this address. Now here's what's interesting about this extension. If you're in this address and you want to send to the legacy network, you can do that. In fact, you can do it inside your own wallet for a test. You can come up here and go to Binance. You can copy this address, come over here. You can send from the Binance Smart Chain address only in this extension. That's important for you to understand. You can send it cross chain to the Binance legacy network. Watch this. If you come up here, it says note cross chain transfer to Binance chain. It would do the same thing if you did it the other way around. This is gonna be highly useful to, if you're in the US particularly and you're trying to, if you wanna buy BNB tokens and you wanna convert them to the Binance Smart Chain tokens, one of the easiest ways is by using this extension, this Binance Smart Chain wallet extension. All right, today I showed you how to set up a Binance Smart Chain wallet, showed you how to get your uh, a BNB, a BEP20 address. This is your BEP20 address right here the OX address. Now you may run into an issue with some Binance Smart Chain websites. Some of them don't do as well with the Binance Smart Chain wallet extension. Now if you wanna interact with Binance Smart Chain websites like PancakeSwap, when you come over here, it's gonna say connect and you have to choose your wallet. Now PancakeSwap has a lot of different options, including the Binance Chain wallet. I will tell you the most popular option is probably MetaMask. So if you don't, if you're interacting with the Binance Smart Chain ecosystem, I definitely recommend that you add Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask. If you don't know how to do that, be sure to watch the video on the end screen. I'll go ahead and put a video up there so you can learn how to add a Binance Smart Chain, a BEP20 address to your MetaMask wallet. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out. Hey, there's one more thing that I thought about I wanted to show you very quickly. I showed you how to recover your wallet, how to import your wallet with your seed phrase, but I wanna show you how to do it if you only have your private key. With the Binance uh, Chain wallet, what you have to do is just start a brand new wallet like you would normally. Come right here and go to import account and ask for private key. You could type in the private key right there and then you would have access to your old wallet now this is if you don't have access to the seed phrase just start a brand new wallet click right here import account your private key type in your private key right there from your previous wallet you'll be able to click import and then you'll see two wallets you could come here and you'd be able to switch back and forth between the two wallets you'd have your old wallet plus your new wallet hopefully this video has been helpful for you and conclusive thank you so much for watching